Beatmap Spotlights is a competition where players try to get the highest overall score on playlists of maps. They're then sorted into tiers based on how they performed and awarded a corresponding profile badge. Each game mode gets their own ranking, so whether you play Oz, Taiko, Catch, or Mania, you're able to compete. Okay, it's a bit more complex than that, but in a nutshell, that's how Beatmap Spotlights works. Let's start again. Beatmap Spotlights is a seasonal competition currently held in Oz Laser using a new multiplayer mode called Playlists. If you don't know what Oz Laser is, then watch the video from the official Oz channel. In a playlist lobby, there's a list of beatmaps which count towards the lobby's leaderboard. You can join the lobby and set scores on any of these maps at any time while it's still open, retrying the maps as many times as you want, in whatever order you want, as long as the lobby hasn't ended. Want more score? You're able to put on mods as well if you'd like to trade higher difficulty for more points. Once the playlist ends, the players who achieved the highest combined score from every map did the best. In a season of beatmap spotlights, there are three different playlists, A, B, and C, each containing maps ranging from about three star hard difficulties up to seven or more star expert difficulties. This truly allows anyone to participate, even if they can't pass some of the maps. The playlists are run in order, with only one open at a time, and each lasting for two weeks. So, it starts with playlist A for two weeks, then B for two weeks, and finally C for two weeks. If you miss one of these playlists, or just want to improve your scores, don't worry. After the initial run, the playlists come back again for a redo run, this time only lasting one week each. Watch out though, the redo runs only count if your playlist score is better than your first attempt. The scores are saved per playlist, not per map, so if you decide to redo, you will have to play every map again. In the end, your best run from each of the playlists is added together, and every participant is ranked based on this total. You'll be placed in different divisions or tiers based on how your score compares to everyone else's. Here are the placements as they currently stand. Just for playing, you can place in the Iron tier. Copper is the top 95-70% to of players. Bronze is the top 70-50%. to Silver is the top 50-25%. to Gold is the top 25-10%. to Platinum is the top 10-3%. to Diamond is the top 3%. And Rhythm Incarnate is given to the best of the best, which is a flat number decided by the organizers based on the number of players. With margins like these, it's safe to say that every point matters, and the difference between one tier and another could come down to your accuracy on the maps. Luckily, the two-week time frame for the playlist should allow you to grind out those final few points to reach the next division. Players placing in Rhythm Incarnate are given a permanent profile badge for their exceptional performance. The rest of the players receive a temporary badge on their profile, which remains from the current season until the start of the next season. In theory, if you just keep playing each new season, you will always have a temporary badge on your profile. Considering that each game mode also has their own season running concurrently, if you're skilled enough, you could get placed in a tier for Os, Taiko, Catch, and Mania. Since each division is percentage or popularity based, the more people that play BMAP Spotlights, the larger the range of tiers become. The most played season so far saw 10 Rhythm Incarnate players, but there are plans to expand up to 50 given enough participants. Apart from a free badge though, I think you might find that BMAP Spotlights are quite fun to play. The BMAP curators always end up picking some very well-made and extremely fun maps for each playlist. Recently, the organizers have made it so each season will have one playlist where the maps follow a theme as well. Currently, BMAP Spotlights is a lesser known competition, mainly due to being laser only, so be sure to spread the word. In fact, as of uploading this video, there is a lobby open right now if you would like to participate in the Winter 2022 season or you can wait a few weeks for the Spring 2022 season to begin. To try it out for yourself, just open Laser, click on Play, Playlists, and then look for the lobby with the pink Spotlight tag. Now you know all about Beatmap Spotlights.